Hello, Bill Molino here, Fast Play War Games and the Nottingham Wargaming Group. And this is just an update on the Battle of Brandywine game. And here I'm showing you just a little bit of the endless amounts of playtesting and checking of things. Uh, but first, uh, on Saturday, April 9th, I went to uh, Scoot's Barbecue in Gloucester, Virginia with my wife and my friend Troy and his wife, Christy. And we celebrated the Kickstarter for the Battle of Brandywine. Now, what I'm doing today on Sunday, I did all that fun on Saturday, but Sunday, um, I'm doing more checking, going through the rules, um, going through the setup sheets, going through the counters, uh, making sure everything is correct with our updated and better version from the old 12-year-ago Ziploc game that we made in the old... Uh, Two buck game line with uh, uh, Peter Schultz and all. So I am diligently trying to get this uh, completed. We're in good shape. Uh, our rule book has totally been edited and set up, and I'm working on the last couple historical setups. And a couple of things that mentioned, you know, I get people that say they want to, to make a game or develop a game. And there's a lot of uh, print-on-demand uh, uh, places to get your game uh, made. Um, there's also great publishers like Worthington, Lock and Load, White Dog, High Flying Dice, um, Blue Panther. So there's a lot of different publishers that can print your game. Um, the one thing that uh, I have found that uh, Dennis Bishop, my good mentor who passed away in a famous... Uh, Pretty famous uh, game designer. He, he told me to make the game the way you want it and don't read the reviews. He says if he had read the reviews of his first game, he would have never continued making games. And again, my games are made for the, uh, the beginner wargamer to get people into the hobby. So I'm hoping that by the end of this week, we're uh, totally up and ready. Jeff can start getting ready to to print everything and uh, we're on time for our um, Kickstarter to be released and uh, a giant thanks and uh, out to everybody that supported me and my vision of historic games to help teach history at historic sites. Thank you, stay safe, be kind, and be courteous. And thank you again to Scoots, Gary Ward, and everyone at Scoots Barbecue in Gloucester. Thank you.